I, I knew she was crazy. <laughs> but she was crazy enough to like me, so. Right? You can't compare your wife with a past girlfriend. It's just. It's, only, it's only getting very poor. I don't even notice, but like, my hands are shaking like small in the wedding dress. No, like. like Welcome back to my channel and if it's your first time here, welcome. My name is Simone. Today we have come out for some food. Aww. Have you seen how he looked at me? Oh, <laughs> he loves it. Are you snuggling, Daddy? Aww. So, Ryan. We were supposed to go out and do a video of the lead up to our wedding day and our wedding day. So, like, can you can you talk? You can talk. Daddy, eat, eat. You call you <laughs> the baby. That's it. He's He's it, the baby's spoiled it. What's that? The baby spoiled it. Yeah. You thought you were gonna get away with it. Hey. You can you can say hi. Oh are you pretending as well? <laughs> so yeah, so do you want me to start off? Or are you gonna start off? What in, about starting off with your mom? Okay, in the beginning there was me and Simone and, and the end. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. One, two, three. Oh, you're so There you go. Mm. When we went in England. Yeah? And we used to go out for fish and chips. What, when we first met? And, and, and let them go. Yeah. So we're having a traditional fish chips. Yeah, I'll do it now for you in a minute. That looks so nice, doesn't it? Thank you. So I've got traditional, we've got traditional fish and chips and mushy peas here. And then that, we like having gravy, it's like a northern thing. When I went to London when they didn't have gravy, they might have it now, but when I went years ago when they didn't have gravy at the chip shop, I just was shocked. <laughs> Whenever we used to eat out, I think I've talked about this before. I wasn't sure what to have. Ryan would let me order for him, and then if I didn't like my meal, then you would, then I would pick yours. Well, no. <laughs> yeah, you've got to get your hair cut, don't you? So this has ended up being a, like a fish and chip mukbang, really. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just move it down. Where do we start? I don't know. You, you crack them. Yes. And me? You know what I do? You know what I do? I just mm -hmm. eat what I don't even want to eat. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's, a, it's a video of the two of us. So we've just celebrated our 10 year wedding anniversary. I don't like it, but I have to and eat it. Have you had your bread already? Or has Caleb had his? Mm -hmm. Do you want your bread? Mm -hmm. So. What happened was, as you'll know, if you've seen our oh, oh, So, we met in the June. I'll put a link to our How We Met video if you want to know all the ins and outs. And it was pretty much love at first sight. And in October, we got married. So I knew straight away that I wanted to marry Ryan and I think I asked you in the July, didn't I? Did you think I was crazy? So in September we definitely saw that we wanted to get married. So we um, like what did we do? We got like a permission and all that kind of stuff on the church and we told my family and we let Ryan's family know and he'd not seen how many years had it been since you'd seen your mum because you were playing in South Africa. Three years. So Ryan had not seen my mum and dad in three years because he'd been playing rugby in South Africa. So um, his cousin who lives in England, 
she surprised him with bringing his mum and dad over, nanny and opa, to the wedding. And they were going to arrive about, I think, five days before, weren't they? She was cooking everything up. So, I was working in Bristol at the time and we were living up north so obviously if you're not from England you won't know where that where that is but it's like down south so it's like a good it's like four hours on the train wasn't it to get down to Bristol so I was working there so I had to speak to his cousin um, to arrange everything to surprise Ryan so what I said was I said I got my wedding dress I was just going to get like a really really simple dress and then my mum was like oh you know you're getting married get a proper dress but obviously most dressmakers need months in advance but we went to one shop and thought if it's meant to be it's meant to be and it was meant to be because the wedding dress shop we went in all of the dresses were my size the sample sizes and we had a sale on so i got my dress in the sale and all in all our, our wedding cost less than saying american money like one thousand three hundred dollars or one thousand pound that's the church the outfit everything and the food so we did it on a on a budget it was a really really nice day so I got the dress and I wasn't having a tiara but I needed an excuse to get Ryan up to the Lake District during the week whilst I was at work because his mum and dad were going to be arriving. So I said to daddy on the phone, but sorry it's last minute but you're going to need to get to the Lake District to go and pick up the tiara and he's like, what do you mean? I said, I need this tiara, please will you just go on the train, I'll book the ticket, will you go? So he's like, okay. So I'm like really excited and we got it on video but I think his mum and dad's got it otherwise I would have inserted it. So he goes up there and what happened Ryan? You, you, I wasn't there so you need to. Mm -hmm. Join the video. Yeah nanny, daddy is nanny's son. Neva what do you think of him? We'll ask Neva and then we'll ask Caleb. You can't see them on there. Is that it? That you go to roll on the chin and then you go it back and then you go to the end and someone go to roll on. I, I didn't understand anything. <laughs> I, I think, I think, it was, mm, Nanny was going to go to Nanny and Opa came over. Nanny and Opa came over and Dad didn't know when he was on the train. They land, they landed, and, and you saw him. And then I, I wonder what Dad's face was like when he saw Nanny. It, was, it looked like he was gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> it was so funny. Dad was gonna do this. Mm. Yeah, because he was sat there in Anselisha's house, and they're filming, and then you just saw his. Was it your dad first? Just saw his dad, his dad sneaking in Opa and he's just chatting away and then he looks up and then he, and then Opa's there and he was like so shocked and he gave him the biggest hug ever and then they're talking away and then the next minute Nanny comes and then he's like what? Because he thought it was just his dad that came over. So he was so shocked, weren't you? And how did you feel? Yeah, it was... Um... It was well planned, well thought of. Look at that. Um, really they were looking chippies broken. They were looking chippies broken. How are you feeling? Just overwhelmed. Boy. Well, look at this. Did you cry? No, no, no. Did you feel like you wanted to cry? It was just, like I said, it was just a lot of uh, emotions. <laughs> yeah, from all of us, obviously. But it was well thought of. Um, the other thing is, when you're in the moment, you don't you don't really think what you can say. Oh, this might be the feeling, or that might be the feeling. But when it happens, there's no words. Yeah. There's no words. Was, was I went to South Africa. 
not seen him a full year. And then from South Africa, I came straight to England. Then I was here already two years, so in total three years I've not seen them. And your, and your nan had died in that time, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, So, a lot had happened, and you've not seen your family for a long time. So, they came back down to where we were based, with, where, with my mum. And then they came to meet me at the train station on the Friday, so the day before the wedding. Was it Friday or Thursday? Thursday night. They've yeah. not met me. They've seen you yeah. on Skype. They've seen you on Skype. On, on, on Skype. On Skype, but they've not, they've not met me before. And they just hear that, that's it. You know, Ryan's in England and he's not going back. He's met someone and that was it. Hey. Um so I met them at the train station on the Thursday night. I got I, I finished work early and yeah, I met them for the first time and it was like you know, like when you just feel really shy and embarrassed and think, well you wonder if they're gonna like me or not. So Thursday night was really nice because like all the families to be together and we had loads of nice food and everything. Then Friday we took them into town and we went for lunch. And Did you show them what England was like? Yeah, we went um, showed them the shops and things like that. And then we did the last few little bits of preparation on Friday because like I said everything was just like within a month we organised it all. And thankfully the weather was really nice. Obviously this time of year and it was autumn but it was a really sunny day wasn't it? So on the Friday we was just going to be like Right, we go to bed, Saturday, get married, um, Ryan's best friend um, had come up from London and he's from Namibia, and um, his mum and dad and my mum was like, no, no, you know, you have, to, you have to stay apart on the Friday night, you know, it's a tradition and everything, and we were like, no, oh, at first, we, wasn't, we weren't even going to get to say bye to each other, we, I was doing something, Ryan was doing something, and they said, right, that's it, we were like, We'd not even got to say like give each other a hug or anything, so we were really upset about it. So they were like, right, you can say say bye, and then you, and then Ryan's going to go to his hotel. So Ryan went to the hotel just down the road, and I made like a board with all photos on when we was little, and put them like when we together. I'll see if I can put a picture on. And I just couldn't sleep that night. It was really late when I finally got to sleep. And I was so excited, but I was like so nervous as well. And I just couldn't wait. I was so excited. Really excited. I, I knew she was crazy. Because <laughs> she was crazy enough to like me, so. Right? I was crazy though, when I, when I said to you that I'll come and chase you down if you go back to South Africa. Yeah. Did you believe me? No, I knew, yeah, of course. Of course. The thing is, you can't compare it. any. I don't know how to put it. You know, you've had past relationships and you think, oh, you know, when you're with someone, yeah, definitely going to marry this person or marry that person. I mean, I've been, I had a girlfriend. Um, thought, wow, definitely gonna marry this girlfriend. Things didn't work out, and thought, no, I'm definitely not getting married. But you can't compare your wife with a past girlfriend. It's just, it's, it's just impossible. It's impossible. So, yeah, but we've learned a lot. We're still learning. Made loads of mistakes. Um, very difficult um, sometimes not being married but what you stand for and what you believe for with our, with our circumstances our situation it always it almost seemed like this can't go anywhere even family friends or people that we know there was people that was oh you only he's only getting married for a visa which um wasn't the case. How did you think about that? Um, I just kept my my focus because I, I knew I knew what we knew, me and someone. So if I was gonna focus on that, it's just wasted energy. Um, and not just not get distracted. 
So here, here we are ten, 10 years later, three children. As I said, we've just, uh, I think we've been put together to, to help each other develop and become better people. Because uh, Simone always challenges me, always. And I know I challenge her as well. And it's not just for the sake of it, but that's to, that's to grow. Yes, to grow. How are you feeling on the night of the, the before the wedding? I mean, I've played rugby, right? Before games, I used to, you know, before a night before game, you can't sleep. Um, you like, you're nervous. You, you excited. You can't wait. Um, but knowing that I was getting married was probably the biggest, for me, it was the biggest commitment, obviously. Um, but for some reason, I was, I was really relaxed. I was really relaxed and composed. Um, and sure, I was really sure. I actually I genuinely was really, really sure of what I was doing. So I, I was, um, I was looking forward to it. Looking forward to it. Yeah. And then, don't, don't, don't touch the skillet. And then, on the morning, I woke up, so excited. And I got dressed. Well, actually, I had breakfast first, but the moment it was just quiet. Like, because Ryan's mum and dad had gone to go and help Ryan get ready. So it was so quiet and it was just so surreal. Do you know, like being in your childhood home, getting ready for like one of the biggest days of your life. And it just really hit me like, wow, I'm getting married to like the man of my dreams. And like, I know it sounds really stupid that and cliche, but I had so many bad relationships and I was wondering if I was ever gonna meet the right person and get married and be really happy. And I just felt like, yeah, I'd met the right person that I could see me spending the rest of my life with. And I got dressed and then like my sister came and my dad and my mum killed it. And it we were running late and it wasn't my fault. It was Ryan set off late to the church. So I'm stood there waiting for ages. Then we get there. And I don't know why. I mean, you know, you get nervous. But I got so nervous. And I had my flowers and I didn't even notice, but like my hand was shaking like that. My dad said to the like to the pastor, like, oh, look, she's really nervous. He's like, are you alright? And I said, yeah, I'm fine. So I had like a veil. And then they put the music on. And what was what's it called? The song. This is one of Ryan's favourite songs. Is it called Love of a, is it called Love of a Princess? I've got a baby in my head. Love of a princess, you know, from Grey Park. So when that music came on, I just felt like an emotional wreck, knowing there was like frosty glass at the back of the church, and I was just thinking, on the other side of that glass is Ryan, and I just didn't know what to expect. So I went round the corner, and I'm not joking, it just feels like a haze now when I look back. And we did have footage of us in the church, but again, I don't know where it is. So I made my way down, and everyone's like looking at me, and Ryan's like looking at me. And what were you thinking in that moment when you saw me come down? The thing is, is, a lot of people probably get asked this question. You know, when you saw your partner for the first time, <laughs> he's walking down, you standing there looking at her, and she's looking at you, and then you looking back at her, and, and then she's looking back at you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was thinking, just get over here and let's get it all and done. Are you kidding? Me? <laughs> no, I'm really busy. Goodness sake! Like, what? <laughs> now she's just got living in a bed. She's got to be standing just all alone or whatever. Now I'm only messing. What I really was experiencing was, do you know when you think of yourself or you think you? Do you want to take him on these? Do you know when you think of yourself as almost like you zoom out and you can see yourself in third person? You know, like what it might look like. So I'm just saying, I was thinking, what, what, what would this look like from above? 
you know, and you approaching, uh, she looked absolutely amazing. Really, really, and I and I say that with all honesty. You know what I mean? Just so smart and smart in the wedding dress. No, like 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 classy. You no, know, like really classy. Classy, like really like royalty. You know, like honestly. Um, Mm. And that's why I said someone I'll carry you on your hand I'll carry you on my hands. And I know I probably fall short a lot of times, but you know, that's what I intend to do because you know it's easy for people to go online and say, Oh I love you. Ooh, I love you too. Bull crap man. Just do just be. Just be. Just be real. Just be honest. That's me being honest. I think that's why we connected because in the past it's easy to there's, there's a lot of fake people around a lot of fake people around yeah. there's a lot of people that walk away at the first instant of like problems that's what we but, but there's a lot of good people as well don't get me wrong there's a lot of good people as well genuine people and because he's such a gentle spirit Sorry. because uh, she's such a gentle spirit you know you just just want to look out for it. You know, that's how I feel. Just want to be there for. Um, like when I when we met, I said to her that she um, people probably took advantage of you. It's like, what do you mean? I said you're too nice. You're way too nice. And it's protecting that, not taking advantage. Because she's a good person, genuine good person, and that's what attracted me. Uh, it's the eyes. You know, the eyes told me what the soul is like. I, I could see right into her soul by looking at the eyes what type of person she would and I thought if I'm right there's no doubt about it then that's definitely the right person and, and it was I hope that makes sense yeah 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 of course it was my auntie said that she'd been to lots of weddings before but when she saw us get married and we'll say our vows to each other that she could genuinely see that we meant it and, and we did and we do still mean it because I just feel like a marriage is, it's like a marathon it's not it's, you, you've got to work at it I mean it's not always easy it can be difficult but we made, we made a commitment and we just were best friends and we work through everything we talk through everything we have a laugh we've just had so many crazy times together and we've just grown together in all areas of our life it's been an amazing 10 years so we got married and then did, did all the what, signing or what not and then we went out got pictures um, outside the church and everything and then we went to a park that we love I put a picture of it and we had some really nice photos and my friend who lived next door he had a camera he wasn't a professional photographer but he took some lovely shots and they were for free which was so nice of him so obviously you know we were just starting off on our journey together and um we didn't have like loads of money to have a huge wedding did we so we had to just make the most of what what we had and i feel like we did a good job with that and it was just, all in all, just a really lovely experience, wasn't it? We had a really, really nice day. And it was nice that my mum and dad could be there. And we had our first dance. And what did we have our first dance in here? Don't remember. Are you being serious? Yeah. We opened Micah. What are they? Yesterday. Um, by your side. By your side, yeah. That was what we danced yeah. to. And then we threw the bouquet at the end. We got a photo of that. And then we went to the hotel where Ryan was staying. His cousin worked at that hotel at the time, so we got the got a really good deal and they paid pay for it, which was really nice. To get the and Ryan's best friend went and made all the room lovely for us and it was just really nice but then we was with each other for two days and then I had to go back to Bristol to go to work and Ryan stayed with his mum and dad before they went back so it was a very very beautiful time but a challenging time for us weren't it and no one really knew what we was facing 
but it just only made our relationship stronger. Um, it was only like the following year that we got our first little like apartment when Ryan got a professional rugby contract in Birmingham, so we moved there. And then it was so nice because some of the gifts that we got, we could decorate our, our like apartment with it, which was really, really nice. Can you tell a story about me too? Oh. Can you tell a story about when you went to We had you, was it two years later we had you? Two and a half, almost three years. Mm. Three years. Yeah, we had you in Birmingham, didn't we? Yeah. So we don't want to make this video too long. We could talk all day, couldn't we? <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say? I feel like you've not talked a lot. I feel like I've done most I've, of the talking. I've done just loads of talking. People are probably so fed up hearing from me. Mm. Talk about talking. When we met, uh, the one time someone came to visit me, we ended up talking all night. Um, mm. There was just so much to talk about. Do you know, do you know what was crazy? The fact that we could talk about, do you know when you when you know someone and you've got so much to catch up with, you've got so much to catch up with, you know like we've not seen your family for years and you want to tell them all about your travels and all about your where we were. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah it's alright. I'm sick. You want to tell them everything. Um, I think that's what happened with that's what happened with us. Uh, it was almost like a long lost. We talked for twelve hours, didn't we? Yeah, on, when Simone went away on holiday a couple of weeks nights, after. Two nights after we met. Yeah, we ended up talking twelve hours, hours non stop. Until and I went straight on holiday. Which was I've never done that before. I didn't try to do it. Didn't try to do it. Um, we just talked, like I said. Try to catch up because we've known each other, but we've not known each other. So. And then when I was in, I was in um, Mexico and I was ringing Ryan, and my phone bill came up over like five hundred pounds. I said you could have just come. The amount that I spent. And he said something to me, and I'll never forget when he said about about the kids. And then what he said to me, I'm, just, I'm I can be so gullible. And what was it you said to me? I was hoping you. What did you said about something about my boys? I said I was hoping you could help me out with uh, with my boys. And, uh, and Simone said, "What? You've got kids." <laughs> I said no, I said like, well I was hoping you could help me with it. Yeah, yeah, it was something like you were saying, oh yeah, with my boys. And I said, what do you mean your boys? Have you got kids? And he said, um, no, but I'm hoping that you can help me out with that one. And I started laughing. And, I was funny. <laughs> <laughs> and now, yeah, you've got, I've got two boys now, eh? And a girl. Huh? Yeah, and one girl. Boys and a girl. <laughs> and mama, well, yeah, mama, mama. mama. <laughs> no, I can have babies so only one girl and one boy. Yeah, and no, one girl. Well, the girl was a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> I have to be bonus because I was the first one. Right. Mm. <laughs> yeah. But Mike is older. Yeah, so. But Mike is older, then that means he will be a two boy. So I'm two boys and I guess. So, yeah. So, yeah. So, I think one thing we'd say is if there's anyone watching this who's not married or not met the right one, you know, I never thought that I would meet someone like Ryan and I have. And then all the challenges we had and all the people that didn't want to believe in our relationship, you might get that. But at the end of the day, if it's meant to be, you've got to really hold on to each other, haven't you? Yeah, the, the thing is, sometimes people meet some someone and they think of their family like would my family like them or instead of thinking of what they experience they they should be focusing more on what you, what's important for you what's important for number one yeah your family is good to be concerned and to you would want your family to like them and stuff like that but that's not the focus you have to shift your focus i would say and sometimes unfortunately what we found is some friends, if they're not happy in their lives, they don't always necessarily want the best for you. You really find out who your friends are Definitely. in the most challenging of times. But again, that's a totally another topic. So, we hope that this video wasn't too long. And we hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. 
and subscribe if you're new here. Um, will they see you again sometime? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Am I invited back? Yeah, of course. <laughs> of course you are. Yeah. I Thanks. like making videos with him. Thanks for having me. I'd like him to do a husband time next time. Yeah, husband. Yeah, husband and wife time. Well, you have like questions. Was this not? Was no. This not <laughs> no. <laughs> Crazy. Isn't it? Oh yeah. Can I just say something before we go? Someone said on the last video when you was giving the questions for the mum time that I was. You could see how much I loved you by I was looking at you or something and. Jay said that I was looking like a Cheshire cat. Like Cheshire cat, like, you know, like the cat that's got the cream, like. Oh, he never understands these English type sayings. You know what I mean? Oh, like, I, I was looking at you, like. Tell me, maybe I watch out there. Yeah. Talking about. Like, really hard, like, really, like, smitten with you, like, okay. happy. What do you think of that then? Okay. She was eyeballing me. How <laughs> <laughs> okay. Eyeballs, that's all right. <laughs> and Bertha, yeah. Bertha. Oh, that's all that we sponsor. So, yeah, so, yeah. so you were, uh, you were uh, smitten, is that right? Like, kind of like, you can see how much I'm smitten with you still. Do you still see that? Yeah, I'm experiencing that. Um, well, you used to take the mid part of me when I used to walk. Just watch it, neighbor. Can you just neighbor, maybe excuse them. You used to take the mic at me about that, about how I used to look at you, smitten. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I remember that. I didn't, I didn't look at you like that. <laughs> yeah, so... Like an ice block melting right in front of you. <laughs> like an ice block melting. So, thank you for watching. You, she's amazing, honestly. She's absolutely amazing. I hope you guys support her and keep supporting her and absolutely phenomenal. Blessed to have her in our lives and um, wow, it's, all I can say is honestly, it's, she's a stinky one, but well, that means that she's cheeky, you know what I mean? It's funny, but it's, yeah. it's a good balance, it's a good balance, really, really beautiful soul, so yeah, but thanks for supporting her and keep on supporting and share, share, thank you. Thank you, bye, say bye, bye. subscribe below to my channel.